Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniart. As you can see these are figures in 135 scale and whole kit is named as a German tank man painting camo. So this is a fresh August release, it should be already available and we have a commercial sample here so we are going to check it closer and see what is supplied in this kit. So first of all box size is standard for this manufacturer, we have quite nice box art which shows two guys and various items which might be handy for diorama project and here you can see comparison with my hand. Next on the side we have two other kits in 135 scale, some safety information address of the manufacturer. On the rear side we have simple assembly manual and marking guide as well as this paints chart which is given in several manufacturer designations so I'm sure that you'll find something uh, suitable for your collection of the paints. And on the other side we have some safety devices in three languages so it's Ukrainian, Russian and English and this is a side opening box. Let's open it. And here is what we have inside. So as you can see all frames are packed into the same plastic bag. It is sealed plastic bag. So that's why we will have to use scissors in order to open it and check all plastic frames closer. Just give me a second. And we will take a look. Okay. So we are going to start with this plastic sprue, let's zoom in a bit, now you should be able to see it. So here we have uh, parts for air compressor and also for various items which will be installed on it. As you can see it can be even uh, considered as a separate kit because there are plenty of parts to be combined together and molding quality looks fine, I don't have any complaints about it, even the tiniest features are carefully molded without any flash around them, so that's really cool. And of course you have to use plastic saw in some places because it will be almost impossible to use the plastic cutter for such connections. Next we start with figure parts and here we have slightly different situation because we have uh, small amounts of flesh around some parts and overall parts division is typical for this scale, it means one piece torso and separate legs, hands and head and if you flip it over here you can see that we have quite nice facial features especially if you will consider that this is a standard out of the box detailing in plastic not in resin so it's just a matter of careful combining of all this stuff together because there are no guiding pins whatsoever so be careful while joining this stuff in order to get a more or less realistic finish for this figure. Next we continue with another guy and here we have slightly different situation again because these parts look clean. I mean in comparison with what we saw before, here we don't have any flash around the parts and everything looks quite nice. Again we don't have any guiding elements but I don't think that it will be a really huge issue especially considering that none of the uh, 135 resin figure sets actually feature such uh, addition on their parts. Next we continue with special small leather which is molded as a one piece element so it's just a matter of combining these two parts together and it will be done and that's really cool because you won't have to deal with separate bars and their alignment and etc etc but you will have to delete to this uh, separate plastic bars which are actually ensuring that part will come to you in a, in a proper shape without any breakages and here you can see it from the opposite side. Okay. Next we go on with one piece buckets, so there are I would say almost one piece because we have bottom part molded separately so as you can see it will have to be inserted here but other than that it should be um, easy to assemble and why I'm a bit confused because I don't see any handles so I guess they are molded in a folded position let's say and you won't be able to retract them and next we have big leather as well, so as you remember it was shown on the box art. So overall idea is pretty much the same as on the small one, so you delete these small bars and you combine these two parts together and it will be ready to go. And of course don't forget to add some weathering in order to get a convincing finish out of these parts. 
So that's pretty much all whole set looks like a interesting addition to your tank built in 135 scale and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!